What's up, guys? This is Austin Thompson back, and uh, we're back in the fucking computer room, and we're reading another creepy pause. This time we're doing something called Mono's Children. Not exactly what the fuck this is about, but uh, something to do with I think Shadow of the Colossus. This has to do with a bunch of Xbox. I think shit. I'm not even sure. I was requested this over some Reddit things, but some post on Reddit. But anyway, so. Um, when I was chilling, I started reading Dog Days. It all started in the summer of 2012. I was done with all my summer assignments from school. My schedule was free, and the days seemed to get longer and longer. My brother would play the Xbox 360 or often. Out of boredom, I posted on a video games board of what games I should buy with a limited budget. Other than Skyrim, Battle for 3, and Minecraft, many members of the board recommended Shadow of the Colossus. Out of curiosity, I searched for videos on YouTube for gameplay and instantly wanted to buy it. Oh, so, this guy wants to out the Colossus. After searching through many games, retailers have decided to see if GameStop had it. After waiting in line for about five, for about five minutes, I asked Steve, the clerk, if he had shot the Colossus for the PlayStation 2. Hold the fuck up. Are you really think a GameStop would have fucking PlayStation 2 games? I never once went to a fucking GameStop and I was like, hey, you got any PlayStation 2 games? They just look at you like, where are you living in, 2004? Like, the fuck? After I asked this question, he recommended me buy the Ico bundle for the PlayStation 3, and I replied by saying I don't have the PlayStation 3. However, he mentioned having only one PlayStation 2 version. But it was in a very bad condition. After asking to see it, they asked the clerk, boy, hey, from the store shelves and handed me a light Shadow of the Colossus class containing only disc but no manual. After examining the disc, I saw only three minor scratches in the reflection of the store's lighting. I told him I would take the game off his hands and and paid my $17 for the game. Yeah, he did not include tax. Overjoyed, I decided to play this the game that night as soon as dinner was over. Unanswered questions. We all know that's going to be scary as fucking shit, right? Anyway, the game's startup screen was playing a serene orchestra of string instruments, woodwinds, and chorus playing in the background. See, I'm not sure if this is really right or not, because I've never fucking played Shadow of the Colossus. But I do have a PlayStation 2. Play Spongebob games. Hip. Anyway. Um, as Wonder, the player, and Agro, the player's horse, made their journey to the Forbidden Land, start a new game with no problems. The game was working almost as if... Okay, I kind of skip a little bit. The game was working almost as if it, there was, if it was, if it were new, except for a few minor frame rate problems. Until the ending of the eight classes. Eh. Sorry. Grimori, rather than wander lying down on the floor of the shrine of worship, with shadow figures watching him sleep. I saw a first-person perspective of Wander watching Mono sleep on the pedestal. When Mono woke up, she had the most beautiful sapphire blue eyes I had ever seen. The lovers embrace for the fuck. The lovers embrace for the two for a few seconds. Yeah. Wait, Mono broke the embrace. Wait, what? Kneeling you know, at the ruined statue of Quad Quad Quad. quad Fuck is that even say? And started crying for about ten seconds when she lifted her face out of her arm. He lifted her face out of her arms. She stared at the screen with blank, soulless eyes and tears heavily, ruining her makeup. And the beautiful colors gradually changed to an old-timey f film filter as she gradually lifted her face. At the ten seconds, Wander placed his arm gently on her shoulder, and Mono left a loud animal-like yell. As she pinned him down the ground. <laughs> what the fuck? She's just like, here, let me take it. And she's like, no, bitch. <laughs> what the fuck? Out of nowhere. She just pins him on the fucking ground, man. Animal like yell. What? Ah, I don't know. <laughs> Something. <coughs> like a blah. A fucking. Fuck. <laughs> And it's like yell, what the fuck? Then to the ground, all oh, another. She then pulled the chief's knife and yelled in English. Wait, they were talking in fucking Latin or something? Or 
Italian? What the? Pulled a chef's knife and yelled in English, "Why did you kill my chi? Why did you kill my children?" This subtitle being a white text with black outline as what appeared to be a Japanese translation. Why did you kill my children? Oh, I can't. I can't. As she jammed the knife in the wood. Whoa. Shit. He immediately jerked. Oh, wait. Wait. He immediately jerked away. Awake. As if he was startled by a nightmare. Wandered away nervously. Hunched over. Hunched over. The fuck? Hunched. Hunched over by the raining stool. At the basin of the lake bed, I saw a cutscene of Wander dismounting Agro and examining a skeleton wearing his poncho and headband. Examining a skeleton wearing his poncho and headband? The fuck kind of game is this? I want to get it. If I could see fucking skeletons and ponchos, man. Shit. Stuck between the headband and skull. Was, was an envelope addressed to a Japanese person? And the letter read, Nakakwaklik Oyank did the fuck? That can't be a language, dude. That's like, that's just a bunch of gibberish. After reading the envelope, I took a picture of it using my cell phone. Because that's what you do when you play games. You're like, shit, where'd this come from? Fucking selfie that shit. Instagram it. As soon as the picture was developed, the, torti the tortoise like colossus emerged from the cave. When I jumped back onto Agro, the cutscene ended. As if defeating the Colossus, the whole shape of what appeared to be a brain splattered outward and covered Wander's poncho in blood. The fuck? Oh, ugh. Brain splattered outward. This is nasty. Rather than falling from the black tendrils, Wander dizzily swayed side to side. Threw, threw up and passed down his own pile of on. Ugh. What the fuck did you just turn the game off, dude? I know damn well if I was on that dude, I'd be like, fuck that. Nope. Why don't you just turn the fucking game off, man? When it was asked to save, I chose the yes option and took out both the memory card from the slot and put the disc back in the case. When it was done saving, after looking at the receiver by me, placed the case in my game along with the CD. A memory card headed to my friend Alex's house. I told him everything that has happened, and he thought I was bad shit insane. I did. When I showed him the picture of the envelope and the skeleton, he immediately invited me inside and loaded his PlayStation 2 emulator on his PC. After a few seconds of loading the complication, he told me to put the game in the disc slot so we can examine the game. Yet I opened the case, the receipt was gone from the box. Shocking and disgruntled, I asked Alec if he had found any strange animations or files in the game's code. Even though he saw nothing out of the ordinary, he did, however, reveal that the letter addressed to the Japanese person was a reverse version of Why Did You Kill My Chil- The f- What? Okay. Why Did You Kill My Children? Even though this was a minor revelation, I thanked him. I took both my disc and memory card. Went back home that night. The next day, I arrived at GameStop at 8 o'clock. Wow, fucking exactly at 8 o'clock. He's just... Ugh. As they were opening up, I explained to Steve my experience with the game, including Mono's children and the letter. He told me the story of a man named Satoru Fugat, a serial killer slash rapist from Japan, who killed Traden by abducting them. Oh, does that guy actually fucking exist? Hold on. Satoru... Oh, I'm gonna Google that little bitch real fast. Sataro Okay, oh shit This guy actually fucking exists Oh shit He exists No, no shit, look I thought they were just making out of that bullshit He's actually alive Wow now, if we go back to the wiki page, uh, I guess that's all that happened. I mean, fuck. Anyway, guys, that's really all that happened. That was Mono's Children. Pretty funny, pretty shitty. Anyway, leave a like if you guys like this below. Uh, if you guys comment, let me know what you guys want me to read next. Go to Reddit, whatever. And uh, peace out, guys.